Hi right, guys, the other day you seen us working on this truck. We just putting a, uh, a motor in it. Big Rob's over. I guess he's on this other side. I think he's about got this thing buttoned up. I know they got the transmission back in it. Rob, what do you got left on this thing? It's hooking up a few fuel lines and a water line. So this thing be running today, won't it? Yeah, be gone today. So guys, while this truck's here, they decided let's go ahead and put a shifter in it. And we have got the famous Jesse here to do the shifter. So Jesse, how many shifters have you installed? Uh, zero. All right, so you've never installed a shifter, oh, so we're gonna God. we're gonna learn how to do it today, ain't we? We are going to. Do it. We're gonna show you guys how simple it really is to put our shifters in. I'm gonna let Jesse go to this side of the truck, and I'm gonna huh. go to the other. Right, there is the shifter it's getting. We've already airlined it. No, get it. Whatever that was. So we'll try to get a line on. Yeah, Jesse, because we are working I in mean, the cave. We are working in the north. There we go. All right. You and your uh, World War II. It is. This came straight Vietnam. from Vietnam. Vietnam, yes. Yeah, we like definitely using, Vietnam keeping old stuff life. alive. Keeping old stuff yeah. alive. Um, so we got our candle lit here, so now we yeah. can <laughs> we can see what we're doing. Um, the old shifter's already been took out. The plate's already been took out. So you're gonna get to see half of the shifter install instead well, of the <laughs> the front part is pretty self-explanatory i mean take it you just un your own boat your floor plate and then you're going to un unboat your old shifter from the pin uh, and take your airlines out they're quick disconnect um so that part's pretty simple um so we're just going to go through the process of putting it back in huh so we don't mix nothing up hopefully Jesse, you said this is your first one. So Absolutely, first one. We definitely expect it to go great. <laughs> you have a little faith. Oh, I've got all the faith in the world in you, Jesse. Oh, okay. I'm glad somebody does. There, I'll put a little more light down there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, yeah. so you've got over here is you got your pressure where your air is coming out, and then you got your air coming in. Okay. Um, so how we're gonna do those? You're gonna have your red, we're gonna do red and black. The red's gonna be for the air coming out and the black's gonna be for the air going back in. Um, you can mark these when you get them out. If you're using your own airlines, if you're keeping your old airlines, uh, mark them just so you know, just so you don't get them mixed up putting an all back on. Cause I definitely would for sure if I had different colors other than these ones that we use all the time. So let's, get this down here close. I'm gonna go ahead and set the shifter if I can get down in here. It'd probably I'm have getting to old. It'd help if we'd clean the floorboard and stuff out of this truck before we <laughs> done this. It would, but let's be real. Sometimes you just gotta do stuff on the super fly. Okay, so we're gonna set this right here, right on the knob. Hitting up here, let's see, maybe. I might put it on the knob. There we go, there you go. give it a little wiggle. So, um, your shooter's gonna come with a boat kit, and this is just That's what just secures it to the the spot that or where it goes on comes out of your transmission. So, just gonna, hang on a minute. find its happy spot. We do. We gotta find that happy spot. This takes a let's see. oh goodness. Go down on the knot. There we go. And you have these two little rubber bushings. They go on each side. It just keeps everything in there tight and holds it where it needs to be. Probably helps with some vibration dampener too. I'm it sure. does. It does. I'm like you, Dustin. I think we should have probably cleaned the floorboard out. It may have helped things. Well, I mean, you're not sitting on nothing over there that's going to be easy on the knees for sure. I mean, yeah. I call ha, this is your first time. Let's make a mess of it. Give that a wiggle right there. Come on. Uh -huh. All right. If you can get this rubber piece in just far enough. To get the boat started, it's gonna pull itself on in there. Like this, there we go. Now we gotta find the tools. You mean to tell me 
You didn't bring the tools with you? Um, I did, but I'm probably sitting on them. They're probably in my kneecap right now. Lighter. They are actually right under your kneecap, or right there. No, I've got okay. the tools. So you've got the tools. I've got the tools. See thanks. Y'all. Thanks for hiding those. I was dropping the ball there. Yeah, you definitely dropped the ball. So. Lefty loosey righty tidy. Right. Well, maybe. Until Rowdy becomes Lucy again, then that's... And then we're all confused. Yeah. There we go. These fancy ratchets are all Smiths over here. Shoot. Only the finest. Only the finest. I mean, you can't have anything better than the finest. I mean, I feel like a ratchet would have been a better idea. Yeah. Is this your idea, Dustin? That was Set me not up. my idea. I felt like that you did this on purpose. No, I if, like if I, I was going to set going you up way. for it, I was going to do uh, adjustable wrenches. Oh, so, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's my least favorite tool in my toolbox. Oh. Now that we're going the right way, we might actually get this focus up. Well, and there goes your And there's my cell phone. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. Let me reach down there and get that so we can keep a little light going. Oh gosh. My World War II light is not producing like I was, you know, like we need it to. I mean, it, this is exactly how you put one in a working truck for sure. Yeah. On top of every tool you've ever used. Yeah, well, you know, it just shows that we just, we don't do just show trucks here. No, I mean, heck we've no. got, we've These got shifters are good guys. for any trucks. These shifters are great. They're going to last forever, and they can go through the tough of working every day. And make it look good doing it. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like I'm getting nowhere here. I don't think you are getting anywhere there. Oh my gosh, I know why. I'm you pretty sure that why. you got one side on just, left, the I other did. side on top. I did. Let's, can we not talk about it? Okay. Oh, Jesus. So. Okay, so uh, FYI, I learned how to use tools before you start the show. Um, we won't talk about it. <laughs> oh, uh, I was and look at that. Look huh. how quick that Tightened was. Tightened right up. Yeah. It's a long boat. Yeah, I was starting to think he was a... Uh... Uh, I was just wanting to talk to you guys for a second, yeah. so... You give me a hand. So we're going to make sure it's pretty good and tight. But like I said, that push those bushings right in there. Those little rubber bushings. Everything's it nice and well now. Oh, uh, you gotta yeah, look see, over it's my not idea for her. You over gotta there. look look over my grunting and groaning. I'm old. <laughs> you are old. Shut your mouth, Dustin. Okay, so here's all our lines. We go at this here is your red line. We're gonna stick it right in here. This is where your air is gonna come out. How you do it? Well, maybe if I can find the hole. Let's see. Get it in there. You push it in there real good and give it a little tug. I mean, if it's in there, it's gonna, it's not gonna come back out. It, uh, let's see, that's the green one. That's exhaust. So, so, and then here's your return. It's gonna be your black. And you just do the same thing with it. Stick it in there. A little quick connect. Give it a tug. That way, it's not coming back out. Things in there. Yep. So, and here's your green. We're gonna leave it dangling. That's just an exhaust. Just keeps everything. Ooh, air flowing. Oh, goodness. I mean, the grunting and groaning. I hope everybody gets a kick out of this because this is the struggle is absolutely real. Yeah. Let's do some moves right here. Okay. All right. So, you're up here on the top. Let's move everything in the floor. So yeah. You got to step on it. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, next thing we're going to do, let's get in the boat down here. We're gonna put a, go ahead and stick on our floorboard. Uh, Dustin, yes, could you reach around and grab that aluminum plate? The aluminum plate will go first. Where's it at? Um, it should be right behind you in the floor. It'll look like the bottom half of this. I got it over here. Okay. Here you go, Jesse. All right, thanks. Hmm. Let's move the phone. Get it out of sight for a minute. Let's see all these little these boats right here. All right. So we do this first. Reason being, it's because if you go ahead and put your shifter knob and stuff, you're not gonna be able to get it 
the boot back over it. So, so we'll make sure we put the boot and the bottom plate on first. Maybe if I can find the hole, we might get it on there. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. And we're in. <laughs> Let's see. And this will slide right over. Possibly. I could be lying. Yeah, it'll slide right over. All right. Oh. Fit like a glove. Let's get this old. Like it was meant to be there. Like it was almost like it was meant to be. Like somebody designed it for that. Let's see. Oh, goodness. I'm going to give it a little shove. Sometimes you got to give it a little. Give it a little love. Yeah, you know, a little love. Get this all the way down. We'll squeeze it on down. That way we got some room to wiggle with. And we take this plate. And this is a trick. But it all fits tight. And it fits tight so that. Because it's supposed to. You know, it sits in there. You don't want stuff wiggling around. Like it ain't supposed to. I went the tip of my finger. Oh, your finger's fine. Quit yeah, it'll be all right. Quit crying. It'll grow back. We don't cry, Dustin. We're not criers. I'll give this a little tug. Maybe. I mean, I need six more things to stab into my knee right now. Um, flathead screwdriver. Maybe the screwdriver will work. If you wasn't on camera right now, it would have done fell in there. Absolutely. It's only because I'm on camera and because I have something. Never mind. I'm not even going to talk about where that's shoved up right now. It does. It's tight. This rubber mat makes it super tight. A lot of times, especially if you go aftermarket floors, this hole's cut a little bit. There it goes. Because this, cause this, is, this was hard to get in because you got the rubber mat and it sinks up and around it. Whereas if you got the custom cut floors and stuff like that. Come on, Jess. Fewer excuses, more done. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to need you <laughs> to go on about yourself. Look, you about killed the hoe thing right there. All right. So then we got that mat. Then we got the foam. That now, the foam will go on a little easier. Oh, it's almost like, I mean, this is getting easier all the time. Oh. Okay. And then you got your four plate cover. And get all the, the boot up out there like that. And it's going to slide back the same way. This boot will catch it sometimes. But there you go. And then if I can find the bows that I specifically set up, you know, I set them up here so I wouldn't lose them. Yeah. It's a good place. So. Let's negotiate some. Yeah, you have to negotiate have to some, a little bit. We're gonna, yeah, we gotta, You'll give me one of them, I'll try to help you. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's see. Well, I'm determined now, Dustin. Oh, so she's a strong, independent white woman. I am. Now. I am a. <laughs> I work around the U men all the time. That's not even close. Hang no. on. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Numero uno, sir. I mean, where's your light on your phone? That's right there. It's right attached to my phone. Yeah. yeah. That's a good spot for it. Jesse works around all men, basically. All day, every, every day. day. God help me, yes, and yes. she will it is out a... work and outdo just about any man mm -hmm. here. It's, I, I do it out of spite, though, It's super impressive, though. I do it out of spite. Like, there's Look, not a job here this woman cannot do. I've been around this girl, Joel. That's for sure. Oh, my gosh, she would help if well, you, like, put it over the hose. God, you reminded me of my dad when oh I was a kid, holding a flashlight Look, wrong. See, bringing right back flashbacks. Right there flashback. is exactly... <laughs> If you'd have held it right in that spot, I'd have said. When I was a kid, I never knew there was so many wrong ways to hold a flashlight. There is, and you are obviously you obviously failed as a flashlight holder in your life. See, yeah. ma'am. See, if you'd have held it right the first time, we could have done that. Uh, in. These four people still, are like, please, for the a, love of God. Still a disappointment in life. Are you, I mean, <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that one. Okay.
talks about how I hold the flashlight and I tend to shake the flashlight around. And the whole, yeah, you're shaking everything all over the place. Like, it's fine. We don't need to see. These people don't need to see what we're struggling. No. Well, give a little something back there. Yeah. Well, I'm obviously missing the over here. Give me some light over here. Give me some light over here. Yes, we are absolutely putting a shifter in right now. We're showing these people, like your dad said, if I can do it, anybody can do it. That's 1,000% <laughs> Why are you hiding right now? Get you some hydrate, sir. I got some out the truck. That's all right. We don't mind. Yeah, I think we might be. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. You still ain't got everything lined up. It's, That's the hardest part of this whole deal. Just getting is, these stupid holes lined back up. Yeah, it's it's a hoe situation. Especially if you're in the dark and your kneecaps are on top of the... Uh, Triangles. Things. And yeah. until what else? Yeah. I'm not sure what's that in my kneecap, but let's see. Give it a little something that way. There you go. Not that much. What are you doing with your life? Uh, you got to find a little call coming in. Just hit it north. <sighs> Let's see. I'll call whoever it is back on after a while. We yeah, are. we're putting a shift in right yeah, now. Yeah, we're super Anybody busy. got time? Anybody got time to meet? Well, see, nobody ever calls me until we're right in the midst of something. Well, why would they? Yeah. It's like they know. It's like, hey. Uh, he, Dustin's doing something. Dustin's finally doing something. Let's That's bug it. him. Exactly. Because, I mean, it happens so. I sit around all day not it, doing nothing. Yeah. Nobody calls me. You literally, I mean, you're on a regular of, wait a minute. You have put shoved it over there too much. What are you doing with your life? One eternity later. All right. So we had to uh, kind of realign everything. So if you I like do the whole this, um, using a screwdriver or something. It helps. Uh, we just did that. Take a and make sure you're getting it through all three holes. Get a small one, and now that I've got that sitting in there, it'll help the other ones line up a little bit easier. Especially if you're in the dark, <laughs> or if you're in a hard spot. If you ain't got your hoe truck to report, it makes it kind of hard to get in here and see what you need to see. Okay, so we got the four plate in. Next step, we're gonna put our nut on here. This just sets your shift knob where it needs to be Just whatever to shift knob yeah whatever shift knob you're wanting to use so then we got about messed up right there first you put your sleeve on first because if not then you got to take the hoe process back off because the sleeve will not go on over top of the knob <laughs> i'm sure that's never been done in, ever in, in the history of man history yeah but we just that's why we're keeping you from you'll never have anybody admit to it anyway no no one will it's like it's yeah it's never going to be admitted to but let's screw this on like so, tighten it up. Then, okay, mm. listen here, don't you readjust mine, Justin, okay? Well, your shift knob's backwards, yes. Oh my God, it is. So it'll, st not. it'll stop right there. Why are you hating my shift? It's because I'm, I'm sitting on this side. It's right, you jacked up, then you run your jam nut up oh and tighten gosh. it against it. See, that's why I don't do this for a living. Anyways, now what I'm looking at. Um, so we're gonna do red into red over here and it's going to jam up in there just like the ones on the bottom did maybe there we go push it up in there then give it a little tug make sure it's not going to come back out so your grain is we've got these on these are backwards so the grain should on this knob that your exhaust is going to be over here so and you'll see on here, it's actually can, got an E right there for the exhaust. Yeah, for the exhaust. And we, if you remember, we left the green unhooked down there just so, just for that. So, let's do this. We'll just put the black back over here. Here's your black to return. Stick it up in here like so. Simple. Swap over, maybe. There we go. All right, and we're in there. And then... Uh, maybe find a little pair of pores. Huh. Let's 
videos. Alright, so there's the grade. I wish I'm gonna grab it back. Maybe. You gotta hold your mouth just right, that's key. Key is to hold your mouth correctly. Or you never get it back out of there. This is the worst lie holder that I've ever met in my life. Well, I've got two phones in my hand. You. I'm trying to make sure they're both in the I right I just spot. need you to know that you should never become a professional lot holder. Because right. I can't. Give me the light. My dad used to tell me the same thing. <laughs> he was right. He was correct. 1,000%. There it is. Okay, so. So I'm trying to keep the camera where they can see what you're doing. Well, and, uh, I'm just fishing. All I'm doing is fishing this green line out of here absolutely complicated way backwards yeah i mean we should definitely grab a pair of pliers a pair, uh, or a pick or something like or that. anything other than a, a screwdriver that screwdriver. i have laying here because i'm too lazy to get my big butt down out of this truck guys i'll be right back i'm gonna go get her wait no nope. yep. nope, no got no nope, sir she got it sir i'm gonna need you to calm down and you have a little faith look here look at her go bam okay take your phones back this guy has no faith in me whatsoever. So, stick this in over here like so. Try not to clamp it, you know, because we need some exhaust to run through there. Like so, bam, there it Just is. Just like that. Bam, see, easy peasy. And guys, okay. you know, it's some work to try to get her you know, get the airlines, you know, there sometimes, but they can be a pain in the That butt, looks so much better than having airlines taped yeah, to the side of your shifter. Absolutely. I mean, it keeps you from having all that stuff hanging all over the place. You don't want to have a beautiful shifter like this and then have tape or zip ties or something ghetto hanging your airlines down through them. So guys, you gotta make sure your jam nut's tight. That's the purpose of it. So that way when you're driving down the road, you're not giving them one of these, cause that'd be super sketchy. I know, I'll freak out. So, then let's put the sleeve on. It slides up. Uh, the slot is for if, if you've got. They're taking my life. I know. <sighs> Bro, Smith, you're causing me to sweat. Okay, you can definitely edit that out. Whatever. No, that's. No, go in the final no, cut. absolutely not. I'll kill you. I'll knock you out. Miss Lisa will love it. She will. Sweating. I'm warm today. All right, so let's put the sleeve on. Put these two little screws in. Like so. Hear the old man grumbling down there. That's what they do. Old guys grumble all the time. I work around them all the time, and they never get any less grumbly. FYI. No, it just, it just no. keeps adding Rubby on. Rubby old man has nothing on this bench. Well, it helps if you put it in the way you need to. We've got fumble fingers, obviously, today. It's lunchtime, ain't it? That's what it is. I'm starving. Wasting away here. Huh? I keep putting it to the side. There we go. Bam. And all of a sudden, it goes. <laughs> like everything else in my life. So, get that getting tight. And then, there it is. That's, That's officially time. done, ain't it? It's done. Finito. Right. So, Jesse, what size shifter is this? So, this is a 42. All right. Um, it's so, gonna... you see, it's going to set just about even with the dash. It's It's actually pretty comfortable, guys. Yeah, your 30s was originally going to come in here, so that's two steps up from that. We go six inches at a time, but we can go, we can middleman it however you want it. We do customs all the time. Uh, get you real comfortable. The double bend keeps you up here because when you get taller, the taller you go, the farther back, and this truck ain't got a sleeper on it, so you know, you don't want it smacking back here. Well, yeah, if that was a straight cab. shifter, it, it would be sitting. Sure, sure. Back in here your with bottom me. gears, you're going to be back here by your seat. Yeah. But because the, the taller you go, the farther back it goes. Yeah. So that double bend definitely, that's definitely. It where keeps it's you up at. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves the double bend. I mean, straight shifters look real nice, though, too. 
Well, guys, oh, goodness. I think that's it. Jesse, that's ready it. That's for all lunch. she wrote. I'm starving to death, so I'm going to go eat. Guys, thank you. And uh, we'll try to do some more with this truck, along with some other stuff. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Simple, pretty as you please. Well, my toe is in that door still. <laughs> so, Bill just closed my toe up in the door. That's awesome.